Next, we spoke with North's halfback Jeff Bagnall, and we asked him, was he happy with his form this season? Yes, Arthur, I think form is fairly good this season. Uh, the experience last year and the 13 games I played has made it easier this year, and yeah. uh, form's improved, I think. Yes, and uh, what of your fitness? You're something of a fitness fanatic, aren't you? Uh, fitness fanatic, I wouldn't call me a fitness fanatic, but uh, during the off-season I... Uh, do a lot of work with the lie saving mm. and uh, by, by doing uh, lie saving, by competing in lie saving carnals and that keeps me fit right throughout the season so I suppose I'm fit for right throughout just not in the football season. And you're a beach sprint champion aren't you? Uh, beach flags yeah I don't get, uh, I fade towards the end in the beach sprints but uh, beach flags I've won a Queensland. Well, well in best and fairest awards and the 1985 Rothmans medal is no exception. Three halves caught the referee's eye in the first round. Henry Foster of brothers, Ross Henrik of Valleys, and North's youngster, Jeff Bagnall. The slippery little half in only his second year of senior football was the driving force behind the Devils' attack in the first round. Always dangerous from the scrum base or from dummy half, and he scored some thrilling individual tries. Strangely enough, he was to end the season playing on the wing, but in the first round, Jeff Bagnall was Brisbane's outstanding halfback, scoring the maximum three points three times and two points twice in seven games, for a tally of 13 points. I wondered, uh, you had a great start to the season. Did you put in an extra effort during the summer months? Oh, a little bit extra effort, but all our halfbacks do. They're all small. And we've got to do extra weights and sprint training to keep up with these big fellas that try to knock us around. Well, you started halfback, you ended up on the wing. Where are you going to play next year? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, probably back at halfback, I'd say. Well, congratulations on your first round efforts. Oh, Thank you, too. Pat? The Valley's eight North four. The Northern Suburbs try scorer number two, Jeff Bagnall. The first scorer is two for North and one for Valley's. Two for North, one for Valley's. Short. Who got in? Bob Keogh. Effervescent Bob Keogh. Bagel will score from Dummy Half and Mercer back in the match. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Bagel scores. Great stuff from North showing great character. They may have left their run too late, but who knows? 24 16, kick to come. Will only be a converted try in it. Fantastic work from North to fight back. Good tackle from Keogh. Bagnall spots the opening, takes advantage of it. Eddie Ward right on the spot. Let's have a look at it from North as they move the ball. There's Dowling, ever trying Dowling. The, the front row of Reed, they've lost nothing in having Reed. Good effort from Reed to get it away from Craig Groff. Groff almost there. Keogh drags him to ground. Quick play the ball. Reckless defence in tatters. Look at the little uh, sharp work from the halfback. Has a look around. Bang. This will do me. Try time. Comes down favourite North. It's a healthy advantage. Bang North goes himself. Booth, McCabe. They're not certain where to go. But now Bagnall sets sail. And he sights at the fullback. Leafsburg okay. sliding away from him. Straight around. Make the kick even easier. Good try to North. Bagnall.